Red Dead Redemption 2 is a game rated M by the ESRB. Hello everyone and welcome back to more Steven Plays Red Dead Redemption 2. In the last episode, we are making our getaway. Goodbye frigid lands, goodbye snow, and good frickin' riddance. Finally, down where we can see some green again. The game is informing me that I am hot and that I should remove my, my clothing. But, uh... Doesn't seem like I'm in a particular spot right now that I can do that. I'm gonna double time this. See what you guys can do, huh? Because we have gotten very far away from uh, the other wagons. So we're gonna try and make some time here and catch up to them. Because I seriously don't even know where they are. There are so much wildlife around, too. I mean, this stuff's every. Oh, we gotta swing it this way. Make sure we head on the uh, the right path. We're not we're not taking any shortcuts. That's a uh, shortcut something I do in GTA 5. <laughs> Just drive over the side of a mountain like, yeah, it'll probably even out. Doesn't really work so well in uh, Red Dead. Red Dead will get ourselves killed. Here we go. Certainly, we should see the other wagons. They weren't going this fast. Head in there. Follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Come on, man. Jump on. We got you. Okay, let's go. I missed that turn. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. All right, let's see here. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. All right. A new place to lay our heads. You weren't wrong, Jose. This place is Here perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were on to something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck. East of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a long way from a dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother. But we are Safe. We make a bit of money here. Then we move again. Head out around them. Be west of Uncle Sam. In a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson!
That's it. I've seen shit with more common sense than you do it <laughs> Jeez. Sleep, shave, or change clothes at your tent. So it looks like we're starting to get into the open world aspect. Chapter 1 is done. That means we're moving into Chapter 2, Horseshoe Overlook. Couple of weeks later. I wonder how things have went in the past few weeks. Got off the mountain. Rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier. Spot of black water and that whole mess. Hi there. Jose. <laughs> Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> Fair enough. Hi, Dutch. Your gang's camp is shown by the little camp symbol on the map. Look, there's so many little things to do now. Ammo, provisions, and health. We got a shaving kit. Supplies can be found around camp. The current stock levels are shown when nearing the tithing. When near the tithing box. My god, there's so many little things. Let's see, there's some stuff over here. Your beard is getting long, you can use the shaving kit beside your tent, or visit the barbershop to maintain your facial hair. There's some sort of icon here, but I'm not exactly sure what oh, that icon Arthur, is. Arthur, my boy. My dear boy. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. For the first time in weeks, Nothing. We're free. We're f free to plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right, then. You can choose now to antagonize Dutch. It looks like you can start to make friends and enemies, depending on what you want to do. Trim your own hair. All facial hair, mustache, chin. Okay. This is your current length, so it can get a lot longer, I see. Let's do all facial hair. And I can choose how, 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 how long I want to make it. I think I'm gonna leave, um... I don't know, actually... There's so many, there's so many options. I can decide exactly what I want this to look like. And what's interesting is you can't make the length longer, which might sound insane, right? But in video games, you, you generally can go to a barber or something and just be like, Oh, I want my hair longer. In this game, it doesn't seem like it. No, you have, good, you have to let your hair grow out. Um, I think I'm just going to, uh... I think I'm gonna start... Maybe start over? No, 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 no. I should do, I should do something here. Yeah, let's do this. No, I don't want just the, the stash. I'm gonna do this right here. Leave just the chops. It's a good look. It's a good look for me. Bring Pearson animals to supply the camp. You can use the meat for food and the skins to craft satchels with increased capacity. So there's a lot of little micromanagement things that you can dive into. Arthur, how's a cigar? Not bad, but sometimes I prefer a pipe. I've been meaning to get one for ages. I left the old one in, in black water, I know. Well, if I find one, you can have it. Well, you are a gentleman, Mr. Morgan. 
I raised you well. <laughs> oh, don't take too much pride in your work. <laughs> Hold for details. Dutch has asked for a pipe. So that was just a little tiny thing. We just had a conversation, and that's now a mission. Maybe I can find Sorry, him a pipe. Jose. You were right about this place. It's a good spot. You'll do for now. For sure. Well, I suppose I should be getting on. Thanks. It's coming! It's coming! Hearing some pretty sweet music here. Well, would you look at that? Incredible. What's wrong? Thought you'd be happy to be off that mountain. Oh, I don't know. You ain't been yourself for a while. Okay, well, let's talk more later. I need to be alone. Just kind of curious if I could interact with that music in any way. So this is the tithing box. And I can contribute to it if I want. I can give item or give money. So if I give item... So this, these are the donations I can get. I can't give... Can I give other stuff? Okay, I see. So it's it basically comes down to money. Basically. I've got $14 worth of goods, I think. And some money on hand. So yeah, I'll donate this uh I'll donate one of these platinum bands. And that helped. <laughs> that helped in some way. We all got a little closer because I threw a band in there. What do you think of this place, Susan? An improvement on the last, that's for sure. Well, that ain't too hard. Well, don't let me bother you. We'll see you later. I don't know you very well. All right, let's see. <laughs> got you there, tough guy. <laughs> Just name the place, my friend. Just name the place. <laughs> Micah seems fun. You're all talk. <laughs> you keep thinking that. I know your type. Part of me wants to antagonize Micah. Then the other part of me is like, no, nah, no. Nah. He's not. He's not worth it. Don't start any trouble here. Strauss? You okay? Morning, Mr. Morgan. Bet you never thought you'd end up here, huh? I didn't know where I'd end up. Cough, cough. Funny how things turn out. Take care, Arthur. Pearson, how you doing, man? Glad to be off that mountain, Mr. Pearson. Yes, indeed. Lots to do now. Yeah, for all of us. So I can do crafting upgrades. Mr. Morgan, bring me some materials, and I'll be glad to make something nice for you. Ah, okay, so satchel. Increases the carrying capacity for all types of tonics. Purchase leather working tools. So I gotta get some leather working tools first. But once I get those, we can donate certain amounts, upgrade certain things, and we can actually get the ability to store more stuff. So this is all stuff that we can, you know, work towards. Arthur's large lodging. <laughs> alligator. You do know you know that that means that there's alligators in the game, and that's horrifying. Thanks, Pearson. I can also just donate to Pearson, apparently. Alright, um, and there's supposed to be uh some health or something? Health kits. I can just take this stuff. This is just apparently where you find all this stuff. Probably don't need that many supplies, but yeah, no, it never hurts. Just in case, of course. Let's see, uh... Hello? You got everything you need, Miss Grimshaw? Oh, not by a long shot, Mr. Morgan. We lost a lot in the move. We'll be back on our feet soon. Oh yeah, this guy.
You're Arthur, right? My name ain't no concern of yours. I'm hungry. I don't give a damn. Look, you seem like a decent feller behind it all. Then you ain't a good judge of character. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll leave it there now. I'm making friends everywhere I go. I guess. Anybody getting me some? Look at this. Hello, fellas. Man, we got we have an entire operation here, man. We really do. Good morning. You okay, Abigail? Settling in. Good. I don't know where John is. Resting somewhere, I'm sure. All quiet, Jose. Thankfully, yes. Good. All right, we got uh, we got multiple options here for uh, you know quests that we can aim for. Did you and Micah see anything when you rode ahead? Nothing we need to worry about. Okay, good. Okay, speak later. Sure. Yep, yep. The horse is hitched. It stays hitched if you whistle because that's how these things work. All right. So again, we got uh, we got multiple options for things we can do here. So I'm gonna take my horse and I'm uh, I'm gonna look here. You command your horse to stay, flee, or follow by focusing on it. It's 10:47 a.m. 48 degrees. Oh yeah, that's the other thing I can do. I can uh, I can change my clothes. Interesting. So I can take off my hat. I got the gunslinger or a custom outfit. Hydra identity while committing crimes. Slightly restore. I can give it to my horse. I got a good horse, man. He deserves. <laughs> my horse deserves the best. Gives you a place to rest in the wilderness, so I can actually do that if I need to. And I've got binoculars and a camera. Interesting. All right. Let's. Uh. There's, there's something to do just right over here. Probably don't need my horse for this. Who is this over here? Hold on, let me just get off the... <laughs> it's gonna make it easy. Sorry, Sally. Uncle! Hey! Ow! Oh, oh, oh! Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. Oh, sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses already. <sighs> you gonna take the old man into town? You can take us too? Why, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a rob, and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on, then. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. You <laughs> ladies are going to love it. OK, then. Let's go. All right, yeah, I'll leave my horse there then. The trees here, then take a left. Oh man, there's like people around. It's so weird. Also, I probably shouldn't go so fast. Lady, sing us a song. Got lumbago. It's very serious. 
All right, I'll see what's going on. Excuse me, sir, are you all right? He's an old man. Lumbago, really? You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Oh, dear God. All right, let's, let's... Now, oh, this thing is crazy. Easy there, easy. There we go. Easy. You're okay. Oi. You're okay. You all right? Oh yeah, good girl. All right. You gonna come with me? Oh yeah, you're gonna come with me. Oh, you're you're good. You're sweet. All right, we're doing good now. You move a little bit faster? No? Okay. Well, just... There we go. Come on. We're almost there, sweetheart. We're doing real good. Here. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. So that's probably what this meter is, maybe? This is the honor system at the bottom. Still kind of in the middle, but if we do good actions, we'll start to probably slide to the right. Come on, let's go! To Valentine! <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Old lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> Your horse is out of whistling range. Yeah. Yeah, you don't say. You left it back at camp. I guess I don't have a horn on this because it's not a car. Right, I'm behind you, fella. Damn. Is this Valentine? Is this? Woo! Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that Uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. Chair's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> oh, it goes. Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. I'll try not to no run into anyone, there. which I might do and yeah, cause a scene. All right. Here we are, just like I said, the cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble. Don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. I'm Come on. Paris and so that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. 
Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. Hey, everybody. How you doing? So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Let me know if you have any questions, fellers. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. So this is interesting. You actually, like, look around at individual items. So there was corn over here. I think now Uncle's in the way. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. You can get a pocket watch. I guess I'll just keep looking around here. Chocolate bar. So canned sweet corn. You're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Well, I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. Eh, maybe I want some hair pomade, though. That could be nice to change up my hairdo a little bit. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah. <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. You can browse that the catalog. Let's go wait for them outside. Interesting, interesting. So All you can actually... Oh, wow. So I can just head on over to clothing and say, Oh, I need me a new hat. So I can go to the hat catalog. Some of the stuff's a little expensive. So I can get the Trilby, a Panama... Oh my god, there are so many good hats. Like, an astounding amount of good hats. Some of the hats... ...get a little expensive? But not, not too bad. And that goes into coats. You know what, I'm, I'm kind of interested in this, uh, this worn flat cap. Always like that. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. That is, that's dashing. That is absolutely dashing. Uh, with the big, big problem is that I no longer look like a cowboy. I look like I'm about to sell some newspapers. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know how I feel about that for Arthur Morgan. He really lo loses some of the, the tough guy uh, stuff there. But you can actually just switch over and, and do it this way so you can see very quickly. Oh, man. That's a good hat. That is a, that is a quality hat. Oh jeez. Like some of these hats, they look a little a little ridiculous. Um not gonna lie. But also there's some really good hats here. I like the big valley cap. But also the the, the classic bulldogger hat. What kind of colors we got. Ooh man. Oh man. That's a swell-looking hat right there. I'm glad that I'm spending my money on things I don't need. <laughs> yeah, man. Beautiful new hat. Thank you for letting me look at your, uh... at your catalog here. Really appreciate it. Thanks for the hat. This is a great hat. Now, can I change my hat at any point? I think I might have to be at camp to change my hat. I still appreciate it nonetheless. I bought some coffee? I'm gonna be wired in the morning. Absolutely. Uncle, are you out here? Oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. <laughs> Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. 
train full of rich tourists heading to San Dene and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel, they were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Get your hands off me! You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly? No. Oh boy, we got some problems. I've been looking to get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You want to find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you Go right away now. with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. I'm so I'm glad I'm here to defuse situations. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Search the hotel for Karen. Oh, God. I wonder what Karen's got herself into. We'll find out next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Next episode, we'll check on Karen. Maybe uh, take a look around Valentine a little bit more. This is uh, quite a place. There's quite a lot of, a lot of stuff that we could do around here. But I'm glad I got this new hat. This is a swell hat. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time for more Stephen Plays. Red Dead Redemption 2.